So let's talk about Chris Rock and Will Smith from a spiritual perspective. Many of you who watch my channel know that I believe God is love, just like the book of John says. Many of you who watch this channel also know that I was a comedian. So I understand that aspect of this as well. Many of you who watch this channel know that I was a martial artist and a fight director. So I have that to talk about this as well. So let, let's, let's start from the, the very impetus of this whole thing. Chris Rock's joke. Now, you're at the Oscars, and everyone's coming there, and the paparazzi are out, and they're, everyone's coming, and they've, and they've got their finest clothes on, their best jewelry. They're really dressing up to really shine, and Chris Rock walks on stage and starts mocking a woman for the way she looks, and specifically a woman who's got a condition known as alopecia where she's losing her hair, and he mocked her about her hair. Now, whether he knew she had alopecia or not, you'd have to be pretty blind to, to realize that, she, that he didn't if, if he's in that business because she's been very public about it everywhere, talking about this alopecia. Even I know about it, and, uh, and I don't follow that stuff at all. So, you know, him walking out on stage and mocking her was in bad taste right away because she's out there trying to look her best, and you're going to mock her on her looks. That's just, that's just crap. Um, I think that kind of humor is unloving and uncaring. I was I was a partner with a with a guy who truly thought the the best way to make comedy was to find the best way to mock me. He made fun of my weight, my hair, my looks, my humor, my intelligence on a daily basis. He thought it was hysterical, and he would laugh about it, and he would mock me in front of audiences all the time. I can tell you from personal perspective. It is hurtful, it is painful, and it is demoralizing. Um, so it, it, it's not something that I would ever put myself back into that situation with someone like that again. Chris Rock was completely wrong for his line of joke. Okay. So it was unloving. It was not a representation of God. It was a representation of fear and anxiety and trying to get, make himself feel powerful. Will Smith, he got up, he walked across the stage, and he physically assaulted Chris Rock. Was that the right thing to do? Physical assault is never all right. It's never loving. And, it, and even though he, it, many will say he was defending his wife, there are better ways to defend your wife. And in, in reality, in the end of the evening, Chris Rock looked better than Will Smith, because first of all, Chris Rock's joke what wasn't funny, and it was based upon knowing the movie G.I. Jane, which is not something that's in the the modern uh, mindset of that film, because that film is ancient. Um, so it wasn't really a funny joke. It wasn't even a well designed joke from a comedic standpoint. Um, but when he was struck. He didn't skip a beat. He came back with a funny line, and he went right on to the documentary category of Oscars. So did Chris Rock win the day? Yeah, he even won the day even more when he, he made the declaration that he would not be pressing charges. You know, he says, no, I under, you know, I'm not going to press charges. No, it's okay. So he let it go. He, he turned the other cheek. You know, so he actually looked better than Will Smith, who walked up across the stage physically assaulted the man, and then from the, the audience yelled profanities at him. Profanities. Now, well, let's talk about profanities. Profanity in themselves, uh, words are words, but words, it's the intention behind the words. Um, Will Smith was using the, 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 the words with great intention. It was, those, those, the the F-bombs that he would drop were threats. They were, they were absolutely threatening more violence. So it was absolutely 100 you percent, know, I'm a man and I will hurt you if you say something about my wife again. That's what he was threatening. He was threatening more violence. Completely wrong for doing it. You know, had he had class, which he had no class in this situation, 
he would have gone taken his his argument to the academy and gotten a an official apology from Chris Rock and the academy for his wife and it would have been a much much cleaner situation there would have been much less controversy and everyone would have come out looking better um but instead he did the unloving thing he assaulted the man and then yelled profanities from the audience and then when he came time to apologize did not apologize for the action he he came up with excuses one of the worst things you can do in the world is be someone who is known for giving excuses excuses means i did something wrong and here's why i did it wrong it's not apologizing it's giving the reasons why you do it wrong in the end he apologized to the academy and his last line was i hope they allow me back so his apology was disingenuous because he didn't want to screw up his career with the academy so he really came across very bad last night um as as far as was he doing something spiritual he was absolutely not doing something spiritual he was doing something to make himself feel powerful to make uh himself feel like <clears throat> a man which i think is a fallacy cuz real men don't need violence you know gandhi overtook the entire british empire with nonviolence it, violence is not necessary. Jeshua went to the cross. He could have raised an army. He could have done all kinds of uh, things, raising people. People wanted them to. The Essenes wanted him to raise an army. That's why after after the crucifixion, John the Essene led the first armed rebellion. You know because they wanted that. They wanted that army. But he was Jeshua wasn't going there. He wasn't going to violence. Violence is unacceptable. Now let me give you an example of uh, of an escalation. So. My my son's mother, when I first met her, we went on a date, and we were all out in a bar. It was a bunch of us, actually. And two of the girls who were with us, young ladies who were with us, were the sister of a friend of mine and her friend. And they were, they were very intoxicated and out on the dance floor dancing. And one guy bumped into them while they were dancing. They were all dancing. One guy bumped into the one. The one girl got offended that she was bumped into came a big argument. They come rushing back to the table. They grabbed me because I was the brother's friend, not even this, the girl who was bumped into his friend, but the, the brother's friend, and I was the biggest guy there. So I got up, and I said, stay here, and I walked over to the guys, and I said, guys, you bumped into them on the dance floor. They're very upset. They're very intoxicated as well. You know, If you guys could just apologize, I think we could solve all this. We could all go back to having a good time. And the guy said, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'll do that. And they came over and they, they apologized. They absolutely 100% apologized. And my b- friend's sister threw a beer in the guy's face. And everything escalated and went crazy from there. I didn't invite anybody, right? I, you know, I, many of you know I was a, a stuntman, a fight director. And I did a comedy sword fighting show, and and I you know, studied martial arts. And um, in my life, I've been in very few fights, and the few fights that I've ever been in were me breaking up a fight. It was never me instigating a fight. It was never me in any way, shape, or form causing a fight by something I said. It was never, never that. It was a fight was happening, and I stepped in to break it up. Um. But the, po- the point of it is is that I went over to those guys and I uh, allowed them to have a flawed moment. I said, listen, this happened. They're upset. They're a little intoxicated. If you would just apologize. And by coming at them from a place of respect and not anger and not escalation, they were right there with me. Okay, let's, let's apologize, right? That is the kind of stuff that should have happened with the Oscar thing last night. You know, Will Smith should have gone to the academy and said, I'm offended by this. This was unacceptable. And he needs to apologize. And the academy would have made Chris Rock apologize, right? Now, Chris Rock, known for this, in 2016, he mocked Jada Pinkett Smith back then, too, for um, not being invited to the Oscars, you know, uh, basically saying she wasn't good enough to beat the Oscars. So it's, there was a history there as well, but 
It still does not, in any, words never justify physical violence. Words are just words. And if you allow the words to incite you to violence, then you're at fault. It's not the loving thing to do. Turn the other cheek. You know, love them. They can be flawed. I've had people stand in my face saying, you mother blanker. And I stood there and I just let them, let them yell. In my mind, I'm going, wow, they're really upset. They're really afraid that I, that I have screwed them over in some form. And then I say, I'm sorry you feel this way. How can we solve it? I never let my energy escalate because it would have it would have just downgraded. It would have gone to nowhere. It was sort of the fight, an argument, a confrontation, and then the police would have been involved. And it would have been, you know, there's no need if I just stand there and not give them a reason to raise to that next level because they're looking for escalation. You know, so as far as last night, they both should have been loving. The joke never should have been never should have been even said because it was cruel and insensitive, right? That's why I can't stand R- uh, Ricky Gervais, because everything he says is cruel and insensitive. You know, I just can't stand it, you know? Um, it's just unloving, uncaring, and, and really tacky. And so that's my take on this. From a spiritual perspective, they both missed the mark last night. They both missed the mark last night. And they both they both should apologize, in my opinion. I think... Will Smith needs to apologize more, though, because he let words take him to the next es- escalation, and words are just words. So that's my thought on that. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you, my friends, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it, you share it, but also comment below it. Let's get this community talking about these topics and, and spreading this information out far and wide so that we can change the world for the better. Thank you.